What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. On today, can y'all see? I just feel like I need. I know. I think I need to get another light. On today, I have some crispy fried fish, some steak and cheese egg rolls that I've never tried before, and some lemon, lemon, and um, some poulet bread. Mm. Mm. Oh, we're good. Thank you, Jesus, for food. My tea. I'm hungry. Sorry, this is shrimp, lemon. Boy, the way. Mm. Hey, I was done. I'm mean, gonna not talk that much. And then, um, uh oh. Oh! That's why I'm gonna get a little shape up or whatever. And, uh, I swear I left this house. The shrimp, beef, onion, or beef, the shrimp, uh, fish, <laughs> shrimp, broccoli, carrot, onion, and there was some juice in here, but I messed up and, um, let the bag turn to the side, these, I don't know, these are some hearty, hearty noodles, hearty. Don't be tardy. Mm -mm. But either way, we got. So I had a taste with seafood. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are good. And it doesn't taste like um it doesn't taste like spaghetti. I mean all the juice must have went out of it. Oh man. So much juice in it. And I wanted to spoon the juice out. You know. Oh man, but yeah, through ketchup packets, I'm not eating that. You <laughs> threw ketchup packets in the bottom of the bag. Let's see what these taste like. People rave over these at this place. Oh. Mm. It's like brown. It's definitely brown steak. This is a good idea. Cabbage. Those are good. Take a bite. Oh my god. These are delicious. Onion. Carrot. Cabbage. It's very seasoned. I actually did it on. Come with like any type of like remoulade or something. He said no. He said you don't need nothing with it. Oh Lord, one of those. Mm. Dude. No. no. If I didn't know no better. I would say that these noodles were homemade. Well, very, very soft. I mean, very soft. And they're like square. Oh, 
Ja, det er Ja, så må jeg se mig. Ja, så er det bare så. Jeg ved ikke, det er bare så. Fordi... Når jeg gik til Uber... Den lady, hun er bare stupid rude. Okay, whatever. But she's just having a bad time. <clears throat> mm, whatever. Like I said, Bob's style. Um, there's like appointments only. You can walk in 45 minutes. Now, mind you, I Ubered. And as I was walking out the door, um, I set up things as he saw me when, yeah, when I got the Uber. And he made a comment, you can always. Um, mm. I think that is good. It has some, you know what? I forgot. Hello, come down. Okay. This, um, this fish came with, you know, a lot of places I've never seen do this, but came with lemon. I totally forgot. It came with some lemon. Either way, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what happened to say? So, yeah. Um, um, I just, and then he was like, you can't, um, stand inside, you gotta stand outside. I'm like, oh lord, it's hot. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm here now, not Uber. But I know you know. Because your chair is right by the front door, you're stopping to get the Uber. Like, you know. But as I was walking out the door, he made a comment, oh, you feel good? It was coming tomorrow. Are you not even telling somebody talking about you? I totally get the fact I didn't have an appointment. I just think I was so unprofessional. And it grown me and like it was just so weird. Unprofessional. So weird, unprofessional. I didn't look at the ratings because they were the closest one. It was early. I didn't think much about it. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna stand outside. I see people walking up, rolling out. Um, people walking up, going out. I'm like, okay, maybe those are good appointments. I think much of it. We yeah. learn. come outside but he was already inside when I asked was there anybody um could right now and he just had his, had his, his ugly ass attitude so I don't want you to come out here anyway <laughs> well, you didn't worry about him we got an ugly ass attitude but I didn't read the comments on Google first I should have
in that same barber that said wasn't nobody cutting right now. Now these my these these you know, these are these hoes you you know black folks now. <laughs> and um either way my friend guy come outside to smoke. Goes to his car. Goes to all these absurd things. Goes to the store. Goes to the liquor store next door. Um, is this all these absurd things? And not one time would he look in my direction because you know, like you just told me, you wasn't. You know, it's I, I get if you're not cutting hair, but. To me, it's just unprofessional for you to just be sitting there in your seat and all that people are waiting to get a haircut. Like, I, I, I never understood that. Uh, you're just sitting there looking at the money. I never understood that. Maybe you got it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm still sitting outside. <laughs> oh man, I got Kool-Aid and my noodle. Um, so yeah, I'm still sitting outside or whatever. And finally, another guy. Now I'm, I'm telling. Now mind you, I, I positioned myself in front of the window, so I could be seen. He comes out. Oh man, I forgot. Uh, I didn't even see you standing there through this big glass ass window. You didn't? Okay. I'll take that. Mood still not changing. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze in for my next appointment. A lot of my at this point is like 3 40 something. It was a few minutes ago, by the way. And in conversation with another barber, he says to the barber that said he wasn't cutting hair, that was now cutting somebody's hair. Oh, yeah, my next appointment ain't to 5 30. Come on, so you should say I've been lying. Like, why lie? Like, if you didn't want me here, then why? Um, why did you say that? I'm gonna have the right to refuse people's service, you know. I just thought it was rude to say. I mean, I get. I walked in. I wasn't trying to be rude. Yeah, I went to another barber shop, which is technically the sister barber shop, and the owner said to go to the other one because, you know, I guess they have a shortage of barbers there. So I did. Took an Uber. How did you guys take off? Which went bad, but I feel it's unnecessary. Something in my spirit. <laughs> yeah, I know how I say that, but it's true. Something in my spirit was telling me. The opposing forces were against me. I'm gonna say it again. And it told me to put my arm up. Put my arm up. Because those opposing forces were against me. Mm -hmm.
It was. Mm-mm. Don't tell me what grandma told me. Don't tell you what grandma told me a long time ago. Damn. Everyone <laughs> told me. We have to be a damn fool. If you let somebody steal your joy. You have to be some kind of damn fool. That's what my grandma told me. She wasn't speaking to everybody now. <laughs> Nobody, you know, it was just, uh, I was just grandma and grandson talk. But. Mm. 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 Basically, I live by it. Basically, this is what I was trying to say. So, um, these are good. These are really good. Steak. I was going to say steak, steak, egg, and cheese. Steak and cheese. Philly cheese roll and look they just rolled them so perfectly <coughs> mm. I don't know what I'm going to see it I still feel like I could use a little, you know, a little zing, a little rum alive. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe more food in my lap. Ooh. Well, needless to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be going back. Trust me. I don't want to be nowhere. I ain't watching. You know what I mean? Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell you something else my grandma always told me. If they didn't ask you to come, you wasn't invited. <laughs> Where's the guy? He never been around from Latin. He never been. I don't know. That's a really cool one. I could've got more of these. He ever been around somebody? Uh, someone else in the group was making plans and things like that, and then someone else in the group said, "Ah, he didn't invite me." No, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I'm not gonna remember to edit that out. Yeah, I don't know how to feel that. Mm -hmm. You can just straight up say, tell me, tell me. I mean, directly to me, my name, first, Emilio. Do you want? I wasn't invited. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Everything was 
some delicious. It really was. Everything even tastes like it was homemade. Mm. I know y'all enjoyed it. I right, enjoy the I got stuff all in the the braces. <clears throat> I'm just charge my own have a water pick. Any of you that was wondering, how do you get that stuff out your tea? Oh. <laughs> oh water pick. Suck it. Suck it. Now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will suck it. Suck it now. What is suck it? Suck it. I know what suck it. Suck it. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't. Oh, I'm trying to show my teeth. I like eat because I know this stuff is all over. Oh, Do I be smacking? People in um, real life be telling me, not in real life. <laughs> People that be around me be saying it, but I ain't never heard myself smack before. And nobody here ever complains about it. Show me what's cooking now. I don't think you're sucking now. <laughs> oh, sucking. That'll be the best Y'all have to taste my Kool Aid. I'm gonna make y'all some Kool Aid. I promise, this is my promise for 2004, and I ain't gonna mess up no more. Mm. I promise I'm gonna make y'all some good air, red, blue, green. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Is it yellow? Lemon? Is it lemon? Lemonade. There's yellow in it. Yes, the yellow Kool Aid lemonade. Yellow. Is there a white Kool Aid? I don't think there is. I don't remember. Is there a white Kool Aid? I want to say there's like an Arctic or something. But the blue raspberry lemonade has always been my favorite. I must say. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> since you asked. <laughs> so, um, 
my auntie used to date this guy who was my cousin's father and uh, he used to always have bottles of hypnotic in the refrigerator and next to the hypnotic he's, he'd have the um, <coughs> excuse me he'd have the uh, blue raspberry lemonade kool-aid it was right next to it in a picture but if you just didn't know no better because I believe it was pouring the hypnotic in that blue raspberry kool-aid and you know just kind of making it a you know kind of a thing because when wasn't nobody around because he used to get, just, he just, cause he used to get so pissed because we drunk up all the kool-aid and in my mind I'm just thinking it's just kool-aid but well, now it's an adult I'm like damn you gotta buy sugar and you know it is faucet water but still you gotta get sugar and you gotta get buy the kool-aid and da 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 whatever but he was always pissed that we um, drank up that Kool-Aid, but it was so good. Either way, on the nights when they have the grown-up nights, um, as far as you know, adults over and you know them, you know, doing their drinking and, or whatnot, which is, you know, not to say that they were a bad influence or anything, because I don't drink. So, uh, I mean, I have a you know casual, but I don't remember the last time I had a drink. All right, if I'm going to a Mexican restaurant, of course I'm going to get a margarita or something like that. But either way, um, they'll be the grown folks will be in the you know the, you know spaced out in the grown folks area with the uh, you know hypnotic <laughs> and you know, you know they bring you know their cousins to come over or something and um, you know they might bring a friend and. You know, but we always there because it's my aunt's boyfriend. We, you know, he's always there. So we'll have the blue Kool-Aid in a glass. This hypnotic. <laughs> this hypnotic. This hypnotic. Y'all ain't drinking grown folk. We drinking the grown folk. <laughs> I know. It's horrible. I know. Please don't judge us. Please. Please. My auntie, they didn't do nothing about it. Like, they knew nothing about it. Um... You know, of course, he wasn't going to do it in any face or nothing like that, so. But, yeah. Um, that's where it come from. Me liking the um, blue Kool-Aid. Because he used to keep it next to the hypnotic in the refrigerator. And when we drunk it, we just, you know, like, I'm going to say you're not kids. I guess kids shouldn't be drinking. Um, you know, that shouldn't even be a thing. Um, but, you know, you know, you know. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, did I just tell myself I'm wrong? I don't give a shit. Okay, let me tell you that. Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, if it's your first time here, thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if I catch you slipping. I'm going to catch you limping. No, you know, yeah. You figured it in. And according to analytics, about um, 50 to 75% of you watch and don't subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And other videos. I have seafood videos. I have hot videos. Hot challenges. Two times spicy, which is no longer a challenge anymore. It's just good. Um... Yeah, um, got a lot of good things coming up in the future. Crazy, and yeah, so hopefully, looking forward to that, and looking forward to you know doing it with you guys. Some of these people are crazy. Anyway, peace.